Hello, St. Stephen Elementary School. Thank you for joining me at the CHCO TV studio as part of your career week. It is an honor to be with you. I'm Vicki Hogarth, and I'm the news director at CHCO TV. And you may have just seen my dog, Maud, who is often with us here in the studio at our feet. She might not always be on camera, but she's not far away. Now, the beauty of a studio like this is that while we're behind the scenes today, it might not look all that exciting, but we can make this room pretty much look like anything. Right here is the news desk. Now we use this for live updates. So if you remember back to the time of COVID-19, I was on your television screen sometimes every day for an hour from this desk, just giving you the latest information that we had from the government and the chief medical officer that you needed to know at that time. And we still use this for live updates when there are things like big weather events or anything, or there's information that we need to get out to the community as fast as we can. But there's so much that we do in the studio. For instance, look right here. <laughs> this is our television TV bingo set. So we had TV bingo last night. When we're all done with it, we put it away for the week and it gets piled in this corner and we'll bring it out and turn all the lights on and make it beautiful again next week. But for now, we need the space so we put it away. Over here is our interview couch. So this is a place, and this is really one of my favorite parts of the studio because this is where I get to sit down with guests, people like politicians, activists, mus musicians, artists, anyone who's making a difference in Southwest New Brunswick, or even broader than that at times. We've had uh, guests from all around the world sit down here who just happen to be passing through New Brunswick. And they generally sit on the other side, and it could be one, two, three guests. We can fill up the couch at times and talk to them about what it is they are doing and why it's important. And I think that that's probably one of my favorite things about working here, is you get that opportunity to sit down with people and find out about a different career path um, or a different art movement or a different um, initiative that someone's taking to really change the world they live in. And it makes me a better person for, for getting to hear their point of view and to find out more about something I didn't know about before. Now, over here, where Maude is, she's, she has delightfully <laughs> brought us over to the next stop in the studio, uh, which is the green screen. And it looks pretty boring, I'm sure, on TV right now. But what you can do with a green screen is turn it into any background you want. The key is to not wear green, though, because it will also show up on you if you are wearing anything close to this hue. So I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I don't wear a lot of green, just in case I'm using this green screen. Uh, this is where we turn our news background into the news, but I film it right here. And usually there's a bigger camera where I'm facing right now that will have a prompter on it so I can read a long script of news. Uh, and that camera is actually right here. You can take a look at. This is quite a <laughs> fancy and huge camera, but we're able to put words right here um, that get reflected into a mirror. And so if I'm reading a long news script, it'll pop up right on this screen and I'll be able to film it hopefully in one take if I, if I have my wits about me that day. Now follow me down the hall because as much as I'm in front of the camera, there is a lot of important work that gets done here that's behind the camera. So that's the interesting thing about working in TV is that a lot of people who work in TV don't actually like being on TV. Now, I don't understand that. That's my favorite part of the job. But for instance, Florence, who is operating the camera right now that I am talking into, is really one of the best editors we've ever had at CHCO, a great producer, director. She does all of it. And she does go on camera from time to time. Uh, but she does a lot of the work back this way. Right here is the edit suite. Now, I'm sure a lot of you who are watching this have been on CHCO as you've grown up on Santa's Helpers singing with your classrooms. Uh, so if you've ever wondered where all the fancy editing comes in when it can go from a close-up 
of one of you to a group shot. That all happens in here. That's where all the fancy graphics go in. Uh, and if we're doing a theme song for a show and an intro, all that magic happens right here. And it takes hours and hours of extra work. Follow me down this way. Mod is going to too. This is our control room. And this is where you'll usually find Patrick, our station manager. He was just here, but he seems to have left. This is where if, we're, if we are recording something in the studio, whoever's back here in the director's chair can switch between the two cameras, as you see I'm doing right now, um, and basically cut a show while we're in the middle of filming it. So that's how part of the control room works. There's also all the audio. They don't let me back here that often. I will be perfectly honest with you. If I'm back here, it's because we are very low staffed and they're barely trusting me. Um, and I prefer it that way. So that's pretty much all of the TV studio. We shoot a lot on location too. So we go out into the world and film outside whenever we can, whenever at best suits a story to do something on location. I think the best part of my job is that I'm paid to be curious and interested in my community and I can't believe that there is a job that lets you do that with your day every single day. It's really a pleasure and a, a super meaningful career opportunity to get to tell the stories of a place I love and to meet the people who are shaping our community to be a better place with every movement and initiative that they take on. It really is a dream job and I work with the best team uh, and it's like having a family and my dog comes with me every day too so it's really <laughs> really hard to ask for more. Um, another thing that's wonderful about TV is that you're really never too young to start as much as all of us here have different degrees. We went to different schools for different things. Some of the people that work here are probably people you know from St. Stephen High School that were probably at St. Stephen Elementary School before that. Uh, some of our youngest employees are 15 years old and some of our volunteers are as young as 12. So if you're interested in television, there's never really a bad time to start. If you come here on Tuesday nights at TV Bingo, it, most people are under the age of 17 who run the whole show. So it's pretty impressive, especially with your generation and the knack you have for technology growing up with it. Uh, it's pretty much second nature around here. If you've been filming with an iPhone already, then you know a lot of what we already do on a daily basis, just maybe at a different level. And that's why I think a lot of young people are interested in coming in and learning what we do and then being a part of the storytelling. And I appreciate you taking the time to hear my story today. And it's been a pleasure to spend time with you.